The Massachusetts landscape. A full 60% of the state is covered by forest. These woods absorb floodwaters, help clean our air and water, and store carbon that would otherwise warm the earth. They provide wood products and jobs, habitat for wildlife, and a place for recreation. But for the first time in 150 years, Massachusetts is seeing a decline in forest cover as new roads, houses, and commercial development permanently change the landscape. Fast forward 50 years. What will our landscape look like in the future? A new study by Harvard Forest and the Smithsonian Institution offers some important clues. So the report describes four different visions for the future of Massachusetts and how the landscape will change depending on different land use choices we make. The four plausible scenarios were developed by a group of scientists, forestry professionals, government officials, and conservationists. Complex computer models played out the impacts of different choices for development, timber harvesting, land conservation, and agricultural clearing. The results of the two-year study show the stakes are high, and Massachusetts is at a critical juncture. What we found in the study is that if recent trends continue or if rates of land development accelerate, our communities can expect to see degraded water resources, less flood protection, less carbon stored, poorer access to the woods for harvesting, and fewer large unfragmented blocks of forest for wildlife habitat. So in effect, um, a diminished future for ourselves, our children, and our communities. The scenario called Forest as Infrastructure projects a more promising future. It shows that increased land conservation, clustered new development, and improved timber harvest practices would produce many measurable benefits. Compared to recent trends, this scenario would protect water quality by minimizing impervious surfaces like roads and parking lots, limit flood risks in virtually all of the state's major watersheds, double the amount of local wood harvested, maintain a 35% increase in the storage of carbon that would otherwise warm the earth, grow 20% more high-value trees like oak, sugar maple, and white pine, reduce forest fragmentation by 25%, and protect more than a quarter million acres of high-priority wildlife habitat. These outcomes would make the Commonwealth economically stronger and more resilient to the impacts of climate change. Yeah, well, the forest cover itself is important, um, but it's the big chunks of continuous forest that provide us with the most value in terms of cleaning water, in terms of providing resources, in terms of being beneficial for nature and for people. And so every time we fragment it or perforate it, break it up, through changes in ownership and development, we reduce its value, we reduce the power of the services that it provides to us. The good news is that Massachusetts can build on the significant conservation gains made over the past eight years by making smart land use choices now. That the people of Massachusetts would benefit tremendously from recommitting to ambitious land conservation targets to expanding sustainable forestry in the state and to improving our land use planning and making smarter growth and development decisions. If there's one thing I'd want people to take away from this is don't take the forest for granted. They're doing remarkable things for the citizens of Massachusetts every day and it's easy to ignore them as we drive down the street. But as we begin to quantify it and look at how individual land use choices impact it, we see just what a tremendous blessing we have in Massachusetts.